This is 2D Design with Ralph Colvin. So we are taking a file we created previously for another assignment of a sphere where we use line, but now we are going to paint a three-dimensional sphere on a two-dimensional surface. So to begin with, remember the file we originally created. Hopefully you saved that file. If you did not, do you want to go back to the video where we created a sphere with clipping mask for all our line assignments. You'll want to go back to that video and remake your PSD file with all the clipping masks. If you remember that file we created was in grayscale so we want to change it to RGB because we are doing this in color. We do not want to merge our layers because we want to keep our layers so don't merge. And what I want to do next is select my shadow layer, the actual shadow shape. I feel like I want to change that, so I'm going to do Command T. Now I'm going to press Option, and I'm going to grab that top there, and I'm going to pinch it so you can see that it moves bottom and top of that shape. And then I'm going to grab the side, and I'm going to pinch it inward. I want to do it a bit more, and I'll click return. I'm going to get the move tool and move it down a bit. That's where I want it, I think. Now I'm going to go back to that window right here and I'm going to press command or control on your PC and I'm going to click and I want to fill that with a color. So I'm going to choose a blue, blue gray, and I will click Pick that color and click OK, and I'm going to get my paint bucket. Your paint bucket is hidden underneath gradient tool, so select paint bucket, and I'm going to fill that with the color I just picked, and I'm going to do Command D to deselect that. Then I'm going to go to Filter, and I'm going to Blur, and I'm going to Gaussian Blur. Now I can adjust that. And I'm going to put it at 6.4, click OK. I feel like I want to move it a little bit more there. Now I'm going to select my sphere layer, and I'm going to press Command or Control on your PC and click. Now I have selected that shape. I'm going to my color, and I'm going to, I'm going to pick a cool red, reddish purple. Click OK, and I'm going to get my paint bucket by pressing G and fill that. Do Command D to deselect. I will go to my value scale layer, the actual scale, not the mask. I'm going to press Command and click on the window, and I'm going to fill that with the same color. Command D to deselect. I think I want to soften the edges of my sphere, so I'm going to go back to that layer with the sphere, and I'm going to go to Filter and Blur, and down to Gaussian Blur. So I don't want to make the edges that soft but I do want to soften those edges. 1.2 pixels looks about right, so I'll click OK. I'm going to turn on my background. And I can see more clearly what I have. I think I'm going to adjust my shadow. So I'm going to press V for the Move tool, and I'm inching it up a bit and a bit over, so that looks about right. Now I will start painting. I'm going to press B for Brush, and I'm going to right click on my image. I will select the soft round brush. I want my hardness set at zero. Now I'm going to start using my clipping masks. So I'm in the clipping mask for the sphere. I'm going to press on the right bracket key and make my brush bigger. I'm going to my color window and choose a lighter value of that red. I also want to check my opacity, have it around 70, and my flow, I want it to be around 70 as well. So I am going to take my stylus on the pad and I'm going to tap. So you can see I'm getting paint on there. I have tapped a couple times. And if you look at the window over here in the clipping mask, you can see paint. So I'm going to move my color up a bit and I'm going to move it towards red more. And I will tap again. Why does it seem like I'm doing anything? Maybe my opacity needs to be closer to 80. I'll try that. That's what I want. So you can see I'm tapping where my towards where my highlight is going to end up. Now I'm going to make my color lighter in value. Maybe move 
it towards orange. And I'm going to tap again and again and again. Now I'm going to move my color, my value further up. I think I'm going to reduce my brush and tap. So I'm tapping a couple times with the brush. Several times actually. I think I'm going to make it a bit bigger and tap. You tap down here and up here. Make my brush smaller. I'm going to move towards a lighter value. Maybe move towards yellow a bit. And I'm going to tap. Tap. Tap again. And I'm getting a highlight. Now I'm going to move towards a lighter value and I'm going to reduce my brush with the bracket key. I'm going to make it bigger. Now I'm going to move all the way, not all the way, but more towards white. And I think I want to move it towards yellow so it's a warmer white. And I'm going to reduce the size with the left bracket key and I'm going to tap. So there is my highlight. Now I'm going to make my brush bigger. About that big. And I'm going to press option and I'm going to pick that color in the shadow. So I have that color there. I'm going to go up a bit and lighter in value for my reflected light. And I think I might go a little bit towards blue. I think what I want to do is make a new layer. And I'm going to change that layer to a mask, clipping mask. So I will attach it. Make another clipping mask for that layer. So it's separate from this clipping mask. So that way I can adjust things and keep things separate without messing the other layer up. So I'm skirting around the outside edge of the sphere here, putting on a reflected light edge. And I think that's good. We got a reflected light in there. I think I want to do my core shadow. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And not that small. And I think I'm going to do another layer. And I'm going to make a clipping mask for that layer. So I'll press option, click, and I will press option and I'm going to choose that dark value, but I'm going to make it a bit darker. So now I am going to move it out. I feel like that is way too much. So I am going to adjust my opacity down to 20. And okay, so I like my core shadows a bit darker. Now I'm going to grab my erase tool. So I'll press E for erase. And I want my erase tool to be about 38% and the flow about 67 to 70. And I'm going to right click on the image. I want the hardness to be all the way to zero. So now I'm going to soften the edge of that core shadow I just put in there and soften this edge here so that makes it easy because I'm in this separate clipping mask I'm not messing with the other paint layers so I like how that looks now now I'm going to choose my shadow mask clipping mask here and I'm going to press B for the brush and I'm going to 
pick that color with my, my pressing option or alt on your PC and click and I can pick that color. Now I'm going to pick a lighter shade value of that color. And I want my opacity to be around 21 there. So I'm going to soften the outside edge here of that shadow. Same with this outside edge. So we're getting reflected light into that outside edge. And I think I'll reduce the brush and soften the outside edge. So another option I'm going to try here is press E for the Erase tool and then I'm going to select my actual shadow shape layer and with the eraser, I'm going to try and soften those edges of that shadow. Let's see if I like how that looks. And step back, Command Z. I don't like that, so maybe enlarge a brush. I think I will reduce the opacity, and that will get me what I want. So I'm softening those outside edges, trying to make them blend better and get more reflected light into those edges. So the erase tool is a valuable tool, but it is destructive. That's the thing you want to remember. So use it sparingly. So it's actually destroying the outside edge of that shape, but it's accomplishing what I want. So now I'm going to choose my value scale clipping mask, and I'm going to press B for brush and make my brush bigger. I'm going to pick that dark value in the core shadow. First I want to up my opacity back up to around 70. Put that dark value there. I'll move towards my lighter values. A little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. So I can smooth these out later on. And a little, I'm going to go all the way to my lightest value. Remember what we can do is grab a color in between there and I will go across it. And maybe I want my brush a bit smaller before I do that. So I step back with Command Z and I'm going in between there. I can select color in between there and there, there, so I can smooth my scale out. And now we have a nice transition from dark, the dark value to the light value. Now I'm going to go to my background. Now I'm going to put another layer on top of that. I'm going to Make sure I have my brush. I'm going to make it very big. And I'm going to select a blue color. I'm going to gray that blue color down a bit. And I'm going to skirt across the top here twice. And maybe that was a little bit too much. I'm going to go way up. So I think I am done. We have our core shadow. We have our transition to the highlight. We have our reflected light around the edge. We have our cast shadow with reflected light around the edges of the cast shadow. We have our value scale from the dark value to mid-tone values to the light values. So I want you to submit it as a JPEG, but I would tell you to first Save it as a PSD because you might want to go back and fix something and you'll keep all your layers if you do that. So I've already saved it with that title, so I'm putting a three on it. So I'm going to click Save and click OK. Now I'm going to flatten it. So I've got a layer and to flatten image. I'm going to discard this layer that's hidden. And I'm going to 
to file and save as. I'm going to choose JPEG. Remember, I want your names on it so I know whose file it is. Save it as maximum because it is very small and click OK and we are done.